everyone. Welcome back to the Runway Podcast. I am your host, Gunamat Donsela. This is the Runway Podcast. This is a platform for you and I to engage on various topics, uh, mainly lifestyle, business, uh, personal development, business development. You have absolutely come to the right place. If uh, maybe and you just like, you know what, what's happening in the socials? Um, this is a platform really where we try to equip you with uh, as much practical tips and tools for you to be able to grow in your personal and business uh, development uh, and ish guys I'm stuttering a little bit because um, <laughs> <laughs> joking I'm not stuttering I have got another amazing guest also let me first thank you guys for just uh, continuing to just like this episode uh, you know uh, sort of like uh, like our previous episodes I mara guys wait <laughs> Yo, you know more right to write to write to write the whole time and then the cameras roll and then all of a sudden I'm having one of those days where it's like, wait, if if we were those people, this is Okata, and then we would try and do the intro game. But we're not going to do that uh, because this is not the place. This is the Runway Podcast. All right, guys, uh, we're back on another episode of the Runway Podcast. Today, I have got an amazing guest. As per usual, I have got entertainment extraordinaire. Oh, please. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sipo Alfim Kwanazi uh, and uh, yeah I'd call him an, I say he's an entertainment extraordinary because I literally feel like that is the best title to embody what you do you are an MC um, now recently well not recently maybe but today TV presenting, sure. um, you are in the, I don't know, has anybody asked you to do a podcast? You work with brands. What don't you do really? <laughs> <laughs> rest. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, we don't get to do a lot we of rest. Someone, 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 Thank you for Zella. honoring the invite. <laughs> Thank you so much for having Thank me. For Thank coming. you so much for having me. Um, yeah, I think you guys yeah. are doing such a great job. Oh, for um, real. Yeah. Not you also. I went and looked at some episodes, I was like, let oh, me, for let real. Me see. Let me oh, see. really? Ash is good. And also, <laughs> I also do my background checks, and you've been doing oh, really I see. well. So thank you. Thank you thank for you. having okay, me. Okay, I thought it was just one of those moments where you're just like, I, no. <laughs> let me, yeah, just because it's the camera, man. Let's just. No, no, but thank no, you. So. I appreciate that. Coming thank from you, you, um, you have done phenomenally well for yourself in the entertainment space. Thank you. Um, I mean, obviously, I'm terming it as a short space of time, but sure. maybe not for you, right? Um, you literally began your career. I, I saw in an interview, like at 17, mm -hmm. um, you emceed a wedding at 17. Yes, 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 yes. yes I'm yes, just yes. like, what level of like guts and like confidence you have to have <laughs> uh, to be able to pull that off at that age? A whole wedding, Nokal. Ah, oh, man, it's, it's, it's crazy. And I think it comes from um, how I was raised. I've always been or had the gift of the gab. So mm. um, I've just always just been the blabbermouth. Interestingly enough, <laughs> As I grow, I become so shy in person. I don't know why. For it's real? so weird. Like, and yeah, in their yeah. minds, I'm just like, bruh, why get it I? together. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I grew up with the gift of the gab. And um, I think my family instilled so much confidence in me. Mm. So um, when I started doing what I do, it was just so easy because mm. in their Sekaya, and it's something you grow up with. And when you're at school, they really just sharpened that gift, you yeah, know? So yeah. it was just an easy sort of transition when yeah. I started. And it's just like, spur of the moment, somebody's getting married and yeah, we don't have an MC. And they were like, you. I was like, what? Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's go. Let's yeah. go. Mm. Yeah, and you took that and you basically ran with it. You've sure. emceed a number of weddings, mind sure, you. Even sure, call yourself sure, the wedding sure. ringer. <laughs> We're going to get to that in a bit. But I want to start here. Mm. What do you feel? Because I remember when I uh, initially contacted you, mm. I said, you know, this is the podcast. I'd like for you to come as a guest. And you're like, you know what? I don't really want to come when there's nothing happening. Sure. You know, like I get asked the typical interview questions. Yeah. I think that that's not the words you use, but obviously that's what I kind of read from that. Sure. And uh, now I want to ask you, Oguti, what, what is it that people don't ask you in interviews that you feel like I want to get out there or I want people to know? So I think that, um, and this is probably maybe something that I need to be doing. I think that in many instances, um, especially as content creators, um, mm. people are working in the media space and just people are hustling. We're not taking enough time to speak about the essence and the hardships and the different things that go into becoming who we are right now. Mm, mm. People will ask you like random questions. I'm, I'm just like, you can't ask, where did it start? Yeah. Um, you know, 
did you always think this was your passion or did you, <laughs> most of the time we're just winging it if we're being honest yeah, a lot of yeah. us creatives most of the time i didn't know this was my passion i just knew i wanted to talk to people and i just realized with you um how i feel when i'm on stage makes me feel really great and it's something i discovered by going on stage a lot mm. you get what i'm saying mm. so we don't sit and speak about the things that you actually need to empower yourself to get to where you want to go for example yeah. we've got people on twitter who are um asking hey guys can or yeah, yeah. um i am a voiceover artist but like i don't have any opportunities and all of that sort of stuff and mm. it's a simple thing like taking your phone and getting a and tiktok literally. account and getting things done you yeah, know yeah. so i think we're not having those conversations and also there are just so many layers to our industry, so many things that we need to fix also mm. so that we all grow as one. And we don't talk yeah. about that. We'd rather talk about the Jordan Nobad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is like, yeah, it's like how okay. is that anybody's business? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so that's why I try to, um, if I do go and, and, and grace somebody um, with an interview or something like that, mm, I really just want it to be meaningful. I yes. want it to be fruitful so that when you watch it oh, two years down the line, you're like, yo, Guys, I, it was just that one second from Mo'alfi or that yeah. one sentence from Mo'alfi that helped me because I know mm. if you look at interviews of huge and great, amazing people, mm. they don't talk about like random stuff. You get nuggets. I mean, I'm sure there's yeah. an Oprah interview that you can remember. You're like, yo, just those 30 seconds yeah. changed how I viewed life and what I want to do with my life. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So th it's it's interesting because you're also somebody because um, I'm just thinking now I, I'm thinking about the content create creation space I'm mm. thinking about you know even us on YouTube and yes. um, people doing podcasts people really embracing um, I know you say you didn't know it was your passion but sure. I, I mean I think I, f I feel like um, there's a narrative that people must just go for their passion magic yeah, yeah, um, yeah. but there's also this balance and I'd like to hear your opinion on this because you're also somebody of Fundile. yes so you didn't just you're not just doing the craft. You're mm. actually, you know, you've got the background marketing, the sure, PR background. Sure. Um, so how do you feel, you know, somebody just going into the industry just as a content creator because that's your passion, that's your space, versus would you tell people to then first go to school? Kind of, what do you so think about So it's that? always um, such tricky territory to, you know, yeah. um, manage because um, you can get into the industry with no experience. Yeah with no formal education or with none whatsoever and be brilliant at it. Yeah. You can go to school for years and be terrible <laughs> at it. You know, um, <laughs> true, I true, always true. say, Wuti, we need to just make smart decisions. Mm. Um, I realized that staying at work was just no longer serving me. Yeah. So I, I, I was, I, I had a beautiful, I always say this, I had a beautiful job. Yeah. Um, regional head of communications and marketing at such an incredible organization, the South African National Parks. Mm -hmm. Shout out! Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're brilliant, yeah. and 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 the work we used to do there was just so amazing. Mm. But that was no longer serving me. Like I couldn't sleep at night because I realized, that, ah, I just I love my job, yes. Yeah. But yeah. I want to do other things. Mm. I, I I want to work more with people. I. I want to speak more. Mm. I, I want to manage my time more. Um, I want to be able to just like zone out for a week. You can't do that, Usebeza. Yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah. you can't. Yeah, you know? Oxala, you must show up. Exactly. You must show up, yeah. So, um, wow. it's very like um, quite interesting ground to, to, to think. Yeah. And you need to be smart. You need to be strategic to say, okay, sharp. Um, this thing that I call my passion, will I be able to survive from it? Because mm. it's so great and all for you to yeah. be a great content creator, but you're yeah. hungry. Yeah. Uh-uh. Yeah, <laughs> you it know? doesn't make sense. And yeah. it's not paying any bills and it's it's not doing anything for you. Mm. And what are you going to take to your landlord? Passion? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. Yeah. So you need to be very strategic. And, and that was um, one of the hardest moves I had to make last year when I left my job. Mm. Um, Uguti, Okay, great and all. You want to work with people. You want to MC all of these amazing um, events and, and and just record videos from your bed. Okay, yeah. great. <laughs> oh, oh, are you going to be able to eat? You know, I'm a very pragmatic person wow. with my approach. Yeah. So, so I'm just like, yeah. To are you going to be able to eat though, my oh guy? God. Oh, yeah. okay, shop. Yeah. If you know what there's there's going to be food on the table, then yeah. do your thing. Then and that's what thing. I believe in. And I think um, sometimes our conditioning is just so hectic because we think Oguti. Once you're at a point of safety, 
Mm. Don't leave that place because you might not be able to come back there again. And I always say, I mean, I'm leaving my job. Okay, I had no plan. I had no plan when I left my <laughs> job. I was just like, I just For hope real? I get a booking next month. Wow. I genuinely, I was just like, but I'm resigning. I can't take it anymore. I'm mm. leaving. And it's not because I was being treated badly. I'm I had brilliant yeah. bosses. Yeah. Um, but I was just like, I can't anymore. Yeah. This is just not working for me anymore. Wow. But then I realized well, see, it only takes a tweet again to be like, yo, guys. So I try to pursue my passion. That didn't work. Um, can I have my job back, please? You know, oh, <laughs> well, this is my CV. It's as easy as that. You yeah, know, you can yeah. always go back if it doesn't work. Wow. Go back. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Why do I feel afraid for you after the whole <laughs> thing has already happened? And that's, and that's what happens. That's what happens because, um, would you then make that decision if you were not afraid? It, if it doesn't mm. scare you, Grina. Yeah. Then it's not worth pursuing. Oh my word! If it doesn't, if 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 it's if, if when you sit down and you think of it, mm. um, and you're being as strategic as possible, and it doesn't scare you, what are you? What the hell are you doing? Yeah. Then leave then it. Then leave it. Yeah. And what what then happens is that when it scares you, and you actually take the leap leap and take the jump, mm. God sees that action. The universe starts conspiring, and they wow. say, "Which well, okay, clearly he's ready to fly. Yeah, let's go." And then we give him the exactly. So all of those, all of those things, propel. yes, wow. those everything just starts coming together, and you're so surprised how. Which I <laughs> I was recording TikToks in my bathtub for crying out loud. Yes. How is this now become a fully fledged business yeah. and a proper world of work? Mm. It's only because I said, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to take it because it's a hard decision. Yeah. But the yeah. second you jump, the universe is like, okay, sharp, let's, let's give him this, let's give him this, let's give him that. God is just like, good, yeah. pursue yeah. the thing because it's a gift from God and you um, serving people with your, with your with gift, your gift. Oh is in, 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 in turn serving him. Yeah. So he's just like, ah, sharp, good. You've got all the skills and the ne- um and the things you need. Let's go. <laughs> you know what? Why is that easier said than done? Yeah. And I can't believe this is me. Uh, because in another conversation, I'm more the confident one. Like, yeah, do what you fear. But I don't know why this particular conversation has got me in my feels. <laughs> with, oh, my God, guys, the comfort of a job is actually mm. the comfort of having something I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And I did the same thing, quite frankly. Sure, I sure. also jumped. I literally quit my job. I was I was no longer happy there mm, as well, mm, you know. Mm. Um, and I was just like, you know, man, I'm going to quit. And I also didn't have a plan. Which sure. is, I did that. Do you understand? Which yeah. Is, I don't know where now suddenly this... But look at you now. Look at me now. Exactly. And you, you only you only realize <laughs> after a while that you were Actually, crazy. Was, <laughs> that is a crazy move. Why did you that do that? That is a very, very exactly. crazy move. Exactly. Yeah, and as yeah. soon as you did that... The but universe was just like, look at you. And you sleep better at night now. Yeah. You're glowing. Look I'm at happy. you. Ooh. And you're happy, Ooh. you know. So, <laughs> and, and you just become so more wow. wholesome. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. it doesn't mean good to where you are right now is Ooh, perfect and it's, it's yes. nice and yes. whatnot. Yes. But yes. there's just yes. so much more of an unction and something that, th- th- there's just um, something that drives you. Which I'm doing what matters. Yeah. Ooh. Because you know the impact that you have. You get what I'm saying? So your job can give you what it does and all of that sort of stuff. But when you're doing what is gifted in you and you're mm. giving that, it matters because you can see the results of what you do. What you, you can see the conversations you have with people. You can literally see Umun to their eyes dilate, like your yeah. eyes are dilating now. Know, like these are conversations <laughs> that matter. Yeah, and yeah, three yeah, years yeah. from now, yeah. you may not remember all we spoke about you, but you're going to say, mm. you know, Alfie once said this. Let me try this and see if it works. And if it works for you, my job is done, bro. Right. I, yeah, I did that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You know what I loved about something else that you said? You mm. said, I've planted a lot of seeds. Sure. That was so powerful for yeah. me. Um, and, 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 and my next question is to ask, Wuti, what made you in the planting not give up? Not like just absolutely just be like, Yazi, Lentole, I say Benzi. Because I... I, I feel like I'm borderline in the season of I've been planting. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, <laughs> I'm also ready to harvest. Like, what mm. the hell is actually. <laughs> it's so crazy um, because harvest catches you by surprise. For real? Yeah, harvest catches you by surprise. Harvest doesn't say, um, harvest time doesn't say, yeah, next week, Tuesday, it's Uzo. on. Yeah. It's on. Wow. No. 
you realize after <clears throat> because even after planting you need to take care of the seed mm. um you need to make sure what it's growing actually and it's so interesting because i'm learning about farming of late um oh. we might be playing that space um, okay yeah god is good god is good i love that so um you then um what you call this once you've planted you mm-hmm. take care of the seed you you, mm. you take care of the land you water your plants and all of that sort of stuff after a while you know at uh, three months four years ten mm. years mm, mm. you realize i mean that's ready to be harvested it's harvest time you don't realize but wow. it's important for you to keep sowing your seeds because seeding is like investing oh my word. um you, when you invest something in a fixed deposit account that's a five year or whatnot mm. you don't think about that and you don't like it debit order that goes off um for your retirement annuity yeah i mean think of when your 60s are only in your 60s you realize oh yes we need to is it all, you know, yeah, all of yeah, that? Because yeah. you're like, actually, you actually, then remember exactly. Yes, I've but in this. the planting, if you're focused mm. on the seeds that you're sowing with, okay, um, I sowed five seeds, therefore I must. I want, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, no. yeah. I want, and it can be at which yes. point. And some of them may not germinate, some of them may not oh, grow. True. You may not harvest as what as much as you want to harvest, mm. or God surprises you and you are so bountiful that it scares you because you don't have enough um, room to save all of that. You want to just sow anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So. So so anyway. So, so even anyway, after harvest, yeah. you sow. So anyway, even That's after powerful. harvest, That's you powerful. sow. So anyway, keep sowing because mm. you do not know when a seed is going to germinate. So and in your which relationships, one ends. Is, yeah. So in your relationships, so in yourself, oh um, so in understanding who you are, um, so in the people that you work with, um, so literally just, Jay, just when I plant the Jay, seeds and you will see. That is so powerful. <laughs> that is so, Thank so, you. I'm telling you, oh my <clears> gosh, <throat> okay, okay. And I'm only saying this because ah. this is what happens to me or to that you. what happened, yeah, so yeah, I'm not, I'm yeah, not yeah. you know, like... Yeah, you it's know, not trying to, <laughs> you like, know, it's like motivational speaker. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, th- there are seeds journey. I sowed 10 years ago, 20 years ago, Gina, um, where somebody says to me, Yazi, you were at what not what. I remember, um, so I, I have a TV show um, which is about to have its second season now. Oh, beautiful, yes. Um, nice. And the reason why I got that show, um, I was at a, an airport in Bloom. Um, and we were flying back to Johannesburg and some lady, w- w- we were just running around with, with, with my team and we're a loud team, you know? Mm. Um, <laughs> and she, she sort of was like, um, a little down Jay. when I saw her, I was like, you're weird. Why are you so down? You know? So I went to her, I was like, Unjani, you don't, you don't, you don't look good. I said, no, I just heard bad news. And I said, oh, okay. Can I give you a hug? You know, yeah, give a yeah. shove, you know, so, cause it's the such was <laughs> thank you so much i hugged her moved on with my life mina who took the flight and i really never remembered her yeah. eight months later somebody comes to me and calls me hi alfie good good can we meet at the urban brew studios we've got a beautiful show for you but i was like hey bro i've never been a tv presenter before are you guys wow. sure about this they're mm. like you're gonna you're gonna do it I was like, oh, okay, let's let's go. Wow. I get to Urban Brew Studios, and the producer of the show Is says to it? me, my mom was, um, we had just lost my dad. Mm. And um, she was, I, I thought, yeah, yeah. Um, and she says, you gave her a hug. So she bumps into a video, and I, I was just talking to her, and we said, oh, we, we want a show, what not, what not, what not. And she said, this, this, this boy is the one that should do this show. This is a seed I sowed. Yeah. Completely forgot, and forgot about. forgot about it. And it germinates in, in ways that you don't oh even. Oh, Now we've got a second season because of that one little hug. Yeah. That I gave and moved on with my life. And yeah. It was nothing to me. I, I wasn't, you know, counting with, yeah, yeah. this, this hug, but I come back. <laughs> you know? So, so anyway. Hey, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I love your <laughs> definition. I like the way you sow, though, because I mean, the the I mean, in in uh, anyone can easily think if you sow, you sowing with 
I don't know, money, material things, showing up, but something as simple as a hug. Yeah. yeah. Because we've so made everything, we've quantified person. everything. Yeah, we've quantified yeah. everything and everything is about money. Mm. No, you know, things are more things wholesome. Are, you yeah, know, yeah. Things are more wholesome. Um, I didn't know that and you're money, wholesome. Yes, money no, matters, eh? It, it ah. does. <laughs> please, can we not <laughs> yeah, even try please. to tell yes. people otherwise? Your money Get matters. Bella, no, no, money no, no, matters. No. And yeah. money does give you happiness. I mean, I would rather cry <laughs> in my defender <laughs> than <laughs> in a taxi somewhere. Uh, uh, no, yeah, you yeah. know, money does matter, but um, don't make everything about money. And yeah. you realize, you see, um, even your relationship with money, the way money treats you, mm-hmm. it realizes, see, I'm not here hostage. Mm. I'm here because we're family, like we're yeah, chill, we, we're bros, you know. Mm. Um, so it's a really chilled space to be, and Nayud enjoys sitting around you. Ooh. I just need more of it, though. Please, so money, if you're listening, hey, bro, can we, we just more, ne? Sha- no? But it's <laughs> 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 oh my gosh, yeah, no, I love this. I love, I love. Oh gosh, okay, okay, I, I, I feel you. And in many ways, I think you know, even your story, you know, Ma, Ma, Ma Kulma about your family, mm. you all of all of you guys being loud people and you just one of the other bigger personalities or yes. one of the big personalities. The smallest. The actually. smallest. So my personality is, is the smallest Ekaya. Um, <laughs> it's so interesting because my family... I feel like you enjoy that though. That's I love that. There's something that... I love that because that's what makes me... That's where my content comes from. Mm. So I love being yeah. able to be small in a room because um, mm. Ekaya don't need to be somebody I'm not. You know, yeah. I'm just there watching every character. I'm like, yo, yeah. if they had the TikTok accounts... And and that's the reason why um, I've decided to mean that I'm not going to ever go the route of having like a TV show, uh, yeah. a reality TV series. Okay. <laughs> hey, Kaya, guys, I, yo, I, yo, we'd get arrested. <laughs> ah, oh, yo, guys, my family is a mess. <laughs> my family and friends are a mess. Like, we sit and talk and we're like, did you just say that? This is oh, why no. I can't have a show. This is exactly what. So, <laughs> got really animated characters and yeah. um, that's where I get my inspiration from. Mm. That's where my biggest cheerleaders are also. Um, and that's where I'm most grounded. Mm. And I don't need to be anyone I'm not. Um, and and it's, 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 it's lovely to be in that. Because, yeah. you know, when I'm out there, I'm sleep, you know. Yeah. It's like, yeah. ah, uh, feel, you know. And when I'm at Mama home, Sandy. it's just like, yo, and I go wash the dishes. Mm. Oh, why I'm yeah. like, no, I'm Yeah. <laughs> and it's so crazy. <laughs> you know, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to conquering. In Kumbuzu, my mom and my mom are very similar to her. We all have the same mom. And it's, we, we do, which is the craziest thing. Oh, my mom, she will see one small thing or just small <laughs> alcohol <laughs> and she'll go off and be like, Lina. So you to practice the alcoholism. Like she exaggerates, <laughs> like do. she's dramatic. And it's like they do, they do. Honestly, but, mom. And we're just so grateful though to <laughs> that because um you can tell what you to call You know, ne- you, you can tell which, yeah, yeah, that one had like a madia. That one had a <laughs> that one had a mom's post. You can tell. Yeah, yeah. And um it you don't realize it or it, it may be annoying as mm, you're growing. Mm, yeah. But yeah, like years yeah. later, you're like, yo, thank goodness. Dude. Oh, my, see this. Yeah, like when when yeah. I go on Twitter now and I look at what th- like people are getting up to, mm. I'm like, yo, had my mom not been, not been like, like that. that, yo, yeah. I would have. <laughs> <laughs> you would have yeah. side. <laughs> but it's nice to look back and appreciate. Uh, and it's, you know, for teens out there, I believe you got a, a big. Uh, audience of like teenagers yeah. you know mm, in the mm, age especially mm. with tiktok mm. i don't know man if you do you feel a sense of responsibility oh no in a way? not I at all do, oh, I, I, I don't know <laughs> and it's not it's it's not it's not necessarily <laughs> that because it's i always say to anyone um and to myself quite a lot mm-hmm. um with one I'm a person who needs to be extremely patient with themselves. I mean, I'm extremely patient with myself. Um, mm. Extremely patient with myself. If, if, if it's not working out, um, I'll have a conversation with myself. Like, Brad, do you want to do this? You know? Mm. And as a, a recovering people pleaser, 
um, I also just try to draw those boundaries. So mm. um, I never want to find myself in a situation where it's just like, yo, that's like, that's like you're all model. Ah, ah, I don't even know what I'm going to wear <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> ah, ah, I don't even know what we're going to eat. I have no idea. I'm struggling. I'm winging through life i don't even know whether i'm like coming or honesty. going I like that you know yeah. and thank you yeah, so yeah, much yeah. yes thank you so <laughs> much <laughs> Uti, you like <laughs> it you know <laughs> but i'm not gonna carry any responsibility <laughs> yeah <laughs> <Not true. laughs> yeah that's not your portion so. <laughs> that's hectic okay okay so 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 all right okay <laughs> <laughs> And, 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 and <laughs> with kids, it's, um, Uti, I don't want kids. It's not that I don't want them. Ne? I think I have just one. Okay, kids scare me. Kids scare yeah. me so much. I That's don't know. Valid. Kids are valid. so scary. And yeah. you know, I overthink kids because, like, it's valid. They have to eat. Yes. Miami. <laughs> Uh, uh, nah. <laughs> yeah. you know yeah. um and 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 you it's this personality that you need to constantly like you know engage with you can't just let a kid do their own thing yeah have to be involved especially yeah, yeah, in the yeah. little you know tender ages yeah so i'm just like not for you yeah not maybe not yeah, yet. not now uh, and yeah. not yet yeah, yeah. And you and can always change your mind i'm still going to i'm at dubai me now yeah now i have Woo! to just like oh no we can't go because we have to baby <laughs> he's teething oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> oh, <I'm not> <laughs> no Equal is on. Imagine, yeah, yo. It's, it's a lot. No, mm. I mean, I, I, I absolutely understand. Sure. But it's like, I almost feel, I'm saying that because I've got two boys, and sure. they're two young boys, 14 and 9. And they look up to, I, I, I want to say the character of sure. Alfie. Okay. You know? Yes. Um, I, I don't want, uh, yeah, I don't want to put that on you. Yeah, but I just want yeah. to say they look up to, sure. and they follow the character of Alfie. And, um, yeah, that's why I'm asking, Guti, from, from your end, are you, or, yeah. But I guess the responsibility I, I try is to, the parents also. Definitely, but I also try to, kids. understanding my audience comes with also understanding what um, would be beneficial for them. Mm. Um, I don't go out of my way to try to impress or to try to get people to have a specific way of life. Mm. I come to you as bare as I am to say, Uti, like, you know, mm. you know, um, whatnot. And what you take from that is, is, is on you, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, however, I also understand that with the audience that I have, um, and I don't want to call it influence, but it is that, yeah. um, you have a responsibility of some sort to carry yourself in some way or another, you know. Mm -hmm. but um, having to understand that it must not compromise you because you're trying to impress somebody else. Yes, yes, you yes. You understand? Oh, yeah. Yes, carry yourself in a dignified manner because as I stand here, yes. my friends, you know, mm. I am a representative of that group and of that tribe. You get mm. what I'm saying? Mm. So um, however I carry myself is a reflection Mm. So that's how I, I think. Guti, how you look at yeah, it. I try to Love be that. who I am yeah. with my faults and with my shortcomings, mm. but knowing Guti, I, I stand for many. Mm. Yeah. So should I make a mistake? Understand what a human made a mistake. Yeah. You yeah. know, yeah. Um, a human being made a mistake. But I don't go out of my way to go, yeah, let's go bend that <laughs> building down. <laughs> because no responsibility. No, no, no. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. Okay, I get that. I get that. That's fair. Okay. So, um, congratulations on the... Yeah. You just used to saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, thank you. You hear that a lot? <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, thank you. <laughs> I was like, thank you're in thank your you. thank you era. <laughs> okay, no, no, no. So, EE Believers Base, you yes. had you hosted your very first. Um, uh, you'll tell me what you yeah. you 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 yeah. kind yeah. of call yeah. it. Yeah. Um, but it, it's so powerful and so deep. Do you know what you started one? Mm. Um, because of the way, the, the how much it's needed. Sure. How much we are so. I mean, Sipoma go COVID, guys. Mm. We survived. So many things are different mm. post-COVID, life, the economy in general. 
do you know what you started and then also do you I, and I, I obviously I, I, I want to get I get the part where I don't know I almost don't want you to I know the family sure. you, you, you grounded in family that's sure. where kind of the background comes from yeah. but where now for you when did you discover that relationship and I know your family's church or, yeah, yeah, you know, you've, yeah but where where does that come from for you when did you know and decide with man I man gonna something man la papaga jesu or hey you know just that so life um, of a believer let's start with believers base um a believers base is it, it was supposed to be a small little intimate intimate really <laughs> it really was supposed to be such a small thing it was supposed to be so you know, I, I, as you say i come from i come from church but i come from that old sort of church where we come to like somebody's garage or somebody's little house and like oh one who's in a makeke oh one who's in a choosy oh one wins and and we're just here to commune with each other yeah. and you know we'll sing because that's what we do yeah. and we don't ne- necessarily even need to read scripture but us just you know speaking to each other adds so much um mm. to that so covid took away yeah that's um, that yeah. communion and that gathering, you know, and I miss that a lot because I thrive from energies, you know, mm. I thrive from spending time with people, you know, um, so I was like, hey, we need that. But also, um, it would be a miss or a mistake for people to think Guti believers base or for Christians, it's not. And I know that we it started it. It didn't come it, across as that. Yeah, and we it started didn't. it as like, I, was like, I don't care whether I'm in a madras warming exactly. exactly. I just want that community exactly. of conversation. Sure. I just want, like, that's like, do you realize that you started? Because <laughs> it doesn't even matter. <laughs> it's scary. If I it's think Christian or not at this believers point. Believers base just really scared me because I just wanted us to gather and, and, and mm. come there just to be like, oh, I just need to take a big sigh and a deep breath. Mm. Then we go home. Yeah. That's yeah. really what Believer's Base <laughs> was supposed to be. And then it blew up to us having, I think, 300 people in a venue when oh we were my. supposed to be 50. You know, it was just supposed to be in a garage. And we did it at the Bertrand Hotel. Yes. And we've got other things planned with Believer's Base. I mean, Benjamin yeah. Juby was there. The Reverend himself. Hopedi di Logwe. Hopedi is one of the most powerful season powerful season you know season. she's season. incredible she? oh leo she's I incredible so we're going to be sharing pictures and videos and yes, all of those things yes, of, yes, of, yes. of the things she was saying she wow. she shook us man mm. you know so um and that's what i want to believe is based to be i want believers based to be just a water hole mm. where you come you get your cup if you need a cup if you need a bucket you get a bucket if yeah. you need a tub you take a tub yeah. you go home and you use what you need and mm. you give it to other people that's what believers base is and um i don't want to put it on my shoulders yeah. believers base will be on all our shoulders yeah. so at some point we'll call on you say Trina, actually you're extremely well spoken so you're going to be emceeing the next one or Please, we need I you to you know to this <laughs> yes. one. And, and 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 actually and so like, okay he wants to emcee his own event but and <laughs> because also i didn't know i was yes, just like i was so scared <laughs> yeah, you you were, yeah i can imagine is yeah. it gonna be right is, is it what not what not yeah. and then literally at the last minute i was asked to sit down and another oh, mc real. said you know rory sang oh yeah <gasps> so, and of course Jeez. Powerhouse. Oh. So I think it believers base oh really God. blew me away, Wuti. How is this supposed to be our first little gathering mm. and it's graced by such huge people? Yeah. Because of seeds. Oh, because of man, seeds. Why are we preaching today? I mean, <laughs> this I is am. not that sort of podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but you are that so person sorry. though. No, but I love it. I love I'm it. So like sorry. I'm drawing so much from this because mm. so, like yeah. I see you. That's, that's I don't know how to <laughs> express this to you, but I see you. Thank you. Thank you. And know? and that's so important because um you know uh like versus um like uh, gravitates to like mm. you know and 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 what deep calleth unto deep it oh, is wow. such a weird. so <laughs> it's, it's it's one of those things you we see each other yeah. and 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 that's what believers base is a spot in jail where we as believers I, I I even said if you're crazy enough to believe it mm. please don't be surprised when God wants to support it. Yeah. or endorse it because he does that man mm. like he does, he yeah. does that and yeah. then so believers base you're going to see a lot of believers based um things where we just like help each other to just 
yeah. be ourselves mm. in a safe space and just enjoy ourselves. It's beautiful. Yeah. I mean, Sipo, please, man. The next time I want to get involved, please. I don't know how, man. Because I tried to come with the angles. I'm like, I, I pitched. <laughs> I, I sent an email. Did I you know. get that email? I got that email. And you didn't say and anything. I it. And I read it. And I was just like, you know what? Um, Utrina is coming through. This baby is two weeks old. And she now wants to like um, take my I little know. baby to daycare. I'm like, yes. ah. I'm not trusting any mom with this baby. Yeah, yeah. You're just like, hey, <laughs> what's going saying. on? And also, I mean, I guess, yeah. I guess, I guess, <sighs> yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's <laughs> don't worry. I love it though. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm so into that. I'm so into us getting back to the roots, man. I'm so into us being grounded. I'm so into us just having a base, you know, just, just having, man, a community, building sure. each other, moving forward. Let's, 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 let's pour That's into each other. That's what it needs to be, let's, man. Let's like, we don't need to be trolling each other. Also. We don't need to trolling each other. Uh-uh. Guys, let's do, let's be progressive. Let's be mindful. I can tell you're a very mindful person. Awens is in Donje, you calculative, you pragmatic. Um, it, it, yeah, so it's, 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 I'm drawing so much energy from this conversation. You have no idea. Um, just by, by, by looking at you, because you are that like symbol of possibility. Yes. You are that model. Yes. Which is, it's <coughs> actually possible. If I actually just believe in myself, if I yes. actually just do and get back to, like, because there's, see, but there's no space for people like us. Mm who are different, I've, I feel like. Yeah. There is no space for us. I there think... There is no space for people who are creative. I don't know. Um, I think there is. Or maybe it's just me. I think there is. I'm and and maybe it's, it's, it's how, you, it's how <laughs> you're phrasing it. Um, I know there is space for us because I am here because of you. Mm. The mm. fact that you are occupying this, this is your space. This is your space. So it's a matter of us creating that space. I will. I'm not going to go to there is yeah. no space created. Like, I yeah. didn't realize there was no space for that. So I was like, let's create that Actually, space, yeah. you know? Oh. Because that's what we do. We are, and we think um, people see creatives and they take away from the fact that they can be visionaries, they can um, be strategic. They can be so focused and so determined about something because creatives are seen as, ah oh, man, you're just itsy fartsy, yeah, you know, yeah. what not, what not. No, yeah. mm. creatives can be visionaries and run empires, mm. start wars, stop them, you know. Mm. So if you are a creative, that you create, you create. That's so if and if you can't see <gasps> space, create it. Create it. So. <laughs> man i feel you like i feel you I, I, I'm, I'm yeah 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 ah sipo man what's where to from here oh my gosh we didn't even touch on the wedding ringer because we're just we're so enveloped in this conversation it just really went um, crazy but yeah. listen um what's 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 in the pipeline what's next what are you up to what are you doing what um, do you want to share we've got a bigger focus on um uh what you call this um corporate MC in this year. Mm. Uh, there are a lot of corporates that we're going to be working with. I'm very excited about that. Um, I'm not sure when this episode is airing, but there's a huge Soon. announcement that's happening tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Uh, yes. Oh my God. Okay, announce <laughs> so it. I'm you, not, it. you, you I, might hear it I, here I, first. This is the first, <gasps> actually, first exclusive. I'm going to push <laughs> tomorrow. Tomorrow is Wednesday. No, we can't announce it tomorrow, tomorrow because... It's yeah, Wednesday. Yeah. But the, our episodes drop on Thursdays. Oh, okay. Um, so we are hosting <laughs> We are hosting the Black Carpet for the Metro FM Awards. Oh, the Black Carpet for Metro FM Awards. You yes. heard it here on the Runway Podcast. <laughs> <For the first laughs> boom, 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 boom. First time. But you're into yes, this thing, yes, man. Yes, yes, yes. So, you are in the summer. Um, this yeah. is your thing. Congratulations. So, yeah. And, you know, there are bigger shows. Thank you so much. There are bigger shows that are going to be happening this year. Yeah. Um, and we're just going to be rocking people in their weddings, man. It's just going to yeah. be really dope. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that's what you expect of Usipo Afrikanas. Please, man. <laughs> and listen, guys, make sure. If you, I don't know, for, for some ever, whatever reason you've been living under a rock, make sure that you go ahead and follow Usipo, man, on socials. You literally are the guy that you think you are. Thank you. Um, it's very rare that you have, have people that are very steadfast and focused. Like Angazi, Angazi, Yang Shaya, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Sure. And um, I wish you nothing but the best. I'm so happy and excited about your success. Thank you so much. Because it's coming from somebody that I feel like is so authentic. Thank you. Like you deserve it. Like more, <laughs> more, more. Thank Kuali, you so much. Kuali Pavu, go to Dubai. Oh. 
Where, like hamba, <laughs> like listen, fly this, get on a runway yeah. and just go with it, because it really is 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 the time for for people like this, where you just you make it feel okay to be me, you. you make Thank it feel you. okay to be creative, you make it feel okay to own the space that we're in. So guys, if there's anything that you've taken for this conversation that you feel like this is a nugget, you really enjoy this, drop it in the comments. We want to see your interaction and which part inter resonated with you, or which part did you maybe disagree with. Uh, maybe when born in India, like maybe mm. you feel like ah, lava, they are too airy fairy, whatever <laughs> stuff, you know, whatever. Everybody's got their own opinions. Drop them in the comment section. We really want to hear from you, and we really enjoy your feedback because that's how we get to engage and know exactly which guests to bring. So go and interact with us on all our social media pages as well. We'll link everything in the description box. And uh, don't forget, this podcast is a collaboration of efforts between Mano Media, Small Business Runway, as well as Opulencia. Make sure you also go ahead and follow all our partners on our respective pages. And uh, yeah, man, share it with a friend. Let's go. Let's just push the whole thing. The Runway Podcast, guys. Can we trend? <laughs> yes. And you shall. <laughs>